I'm Estes. Welcome to an all new episode of the Brown Girl Experience. I'm your host, Fran. Today we are adding to our celebrity drama playlist and we are covering the 2019 college admission scandal, also known as the Varsity Blues scandal. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So this took place in 2019. There was a conspiracy that several individuals were getting their children into a very prestigious university using bribery. So our two main players are Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman and uh, Lori Laughlin's husband, Mossimo Giannulli. And the FBI called it Operation Varsity Blues, leading to the arrest of college coaches, test proctors, and some 33 well-off parents. The parents charged today, despite already being able to give their children every legitimate advantage in the college admissions game, instead chose to corrupt and illegally manipulate the system for their benefit. Among those charged, actor Felicity Hoffman and Lori Laughlin, whose two daughters, prosecutors say, gained admission to USC thanks to $500,000 in bribes paid to the rowing team coach. Her youngest daughter, Olivia Jade, told her followers on this YouTube video how little she cared about going to college. I don't know how much of school I'm gonna attend, but I do want the experience of like game days, partying, I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. <laughs> the FBI says some of the parents helped arrange bogus photos of their children to make it appear they were athletes so that bribed college coaches could use their slots to get them admitted. In one example, the head women's soccer coach at Yale, in exchange for $400,000, accepted an applicant as a recruit for the Yale women's team, despite knowing that the applicant did not even play competitive soccer. The mastermind, William Singer, has pleaded guilty in the case and apparently worked with the FBI after he was caught to record damaging phone calls with many of the prominent parents. In other words, rich people are insane. Once you have that much money, it poisons your brain. You either end up bribing a soccer coach to get your kid into Yale, or if that doesn't work, you leave all your money to your cat. Our story takes place on March 12, 2019. Um, and so this is when E! News obtained a document from court stating that Huffman and Laughlin along with 40 other individuals were committing mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. And essentially what it, what it was, a bunch of wealthy parents getting together and devising schemes to get their children into very affluent and prestigious colleges. So basically they used bribery and fraud to try and bribe the elites of each institution to get their children into their schools. These include schools like Yale University, Stanford, the University of Texas, the University of Southern California, and more. We're learning explosive new details about the largest college admission scam prosecuted by the Department of Justice ever. Prosecutors say 50 people are being charged nationwide in connection with a $25 million cheating scheme designed to get students into elite universities. Many, much of the indictment ties to William Rick Singer, the founder of a for-profit counseling and preparation business called The Key. He just arrived to a federal court in Boston. Officials say his scheme was twofold, helping students cheat on college entrance exams and paying bribes to kids to get kids into schools with fake athletic credentials. With respect to the SAT and ACT scheme, numerous parents paid Singer between $15,000 and $75,000 to have someone either take the exam for their child or to correct their child's answers afterward, all to achieve a sufficiently high pre-agreed score on those tests. Singer counseled parents to take their children to a therapist and get a letter saying that because of purported learning disabilities or other issues, the child needed additional time to complete the ACT or the SAT. Parents also paid Singer money that he then used to bribe coaches and administrators to designate their children as recruited athletes for various schools. Singer worked with the parents to fabricate impressive athletic profiles for their kids, including fake athletic credentials or honors, or fake participation in elite club teams. Uh, so Laughlin and her husband, again, Janouli, have two daughters. So it's Isabella Rose, who's 22, and Olivia Jade, who is 20. And then Huffman and her husband, William H. Macy, um, have Sophia Grace Macy, who's 20, and Georgia Grace Macy, who's 18. Um, All right, so both Felicity Huffman and Lori, Lough uh, Lori Laughlin are alleged to have been involved in the scheme to try to get their daughters into, uh, into universities. And basically, in the case of Felicity Huffman, in one instance with one daughter, according to e emails and the information contained in the court documents, Ali, she was able to work with one of the people that was also charged today to get her daughter to be able to take an SAT for an unlimited amount of time. And that can normally be done for very legitimate reasons, such as a learning disability or a particular medical condition. But in this case, Huffman coordinated allegedly with this company to make sure that her daughter went to the right location for the exam to be taken uh, with the right proctor who was then bribed, according to the court documents, in a separate instance. And in this case, the, the government says she did not go through with this plan, but there was going to be another instance where she was going to uh, do essentially the same scheme with her other daughter. Um, and it's alleged that uh, tens of thousands of dollars
dollars exchange hands. For Lori Laughlin, a bit of a different story. It involved her daughter in USC. In that particular instance, uh, Lori Laughlin and her husband, who's also charged in this, uh, actually coordinated and got pictures of their daughter uh, on a, on an erg uh, so that they could. Now, I didn't know what an erg is, so you know I didn't get into college on this. <laughs> exactly. So the erg is the rowing. Is the uh, rowing machine rowing. exactly? Right. It's a rowing machine. So they got pictures of her on an erg to say that she was the the head of uh, or one of the people on crew with the LA Harbor Club. She had uh, nothing to do with being on crew, uh, according to the court documents. Uh, By April 8th, 2019, 13 parents, including Huffman, had actually pled guilty. Um, Huffman said in a statement, I'm pleading guilty to the charges brought against me by the United States Attorney Office. I am in full acceptance of my guilt and with deep regret and shame over what I have done. I accept full responsibility for my actions and will accept the consequences that stem from those actions. I am ashamed of the pain I have caused my daughter, my family, my friends, my colleagues, and the educational community. She stated, my daughter knew nothing about my actions. I have betrayed her. And so then April 9th came along, and this is when 16 parents, including Laughlin and Janouli, also faced legal trouble. By April 15th, Laughlin and her husband pled not guilty. And so Lori Laughlin and her fashion designer husband pleading not guilty to two felony counts, bringing the celebrity couple one step closer to trial while the possibility of a plea deal dwindles. Facing a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison, investigators say they have a trove of evidence, including wiretaps, proving the power couple paid half a million dollars in bribes to get their daughters into USC. It comes just a week after actress Felicity Huffman and a dozen other parents agreed to plead guilty to one felony count. With Laughlin waiving her right to appear at her arraignment, the actress has become fodder for comedians. You paid 500 grand for USC? Oh yeah. And that's not including the 300 grand I blew on tuition. Oh my God. What did your daughter major in? Communication. Oh. <laughs> But this morning, with September 13th, it was Huffman's day in court, and she received 14 days in prison, supervised release for one year, and 250 hours of community service, and a $30,000 fine, and she was imprisoned on October 14th. With husband and actor William H. Macy by her side, the former Oscar nominee will now have to spend 14 days behind bars. In court, the prosecutor said, there is no excuse for what she did. Parenthood does not make you a felon or a cheat. Noting the celebrity's fame and wealth, the prosecutor hammered home, there's no paparazzi in prison. Prison is the great equalizer. Huffman, who pleaded guilty to paying $15,000 to rig her daughter's SAT score, said all along she was ready for the judge's decision, though asked for leniency before sentencing. I was frightened, I was stupid, and I was so wrong. The judge noted Huffman's early admission of guilt, but added she knew what she was doing was wrong, a fraud. The ruling? 14 days in prison, $30,000 fine, one year supervised release, and 250 hours of community service. After her sentencing on social media, both support and outrage, the actress didn't get more prison time. Um, on October 21st, Laughlin's daughters were kicked out of USC, which is obviously the school that she had got them into. On October 25th, Huffman was done her sentence in jail. And then by May 21st, Laughlin and Janouli plead guilty as well. She pled guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. And Janouli will plead guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud and honest services wire and mail fraud. Laughlin's agreed to a sentence of two months in prison, an $150,000 fine, and two years of supervised release with 100 hours of community service. And then Janouli had five months in prison, a $250,000 fine, and two years of supervised release with 250 hours of community service. On October 21st, this plea deal was accepted by the judge Nathaniel Gorton. Um, and then a couple hours later, he also accepted Laughlin's plea deal. So on October 30th, Laughlin started her two month prison sentence and November 19th, Janouli started his five month sentence. A bribery scandal, ABC's Megan Tevrizian reports Laughlin will likely be out of prison before Christmas. This morning, Lori Laughlin's on lockdown in federal prison. She's in a one room, um, one room with no other roommates. The former Full House star just days into a two month sentence for her involvement in the Varsity Blues scandal. But her first two weeks behind bars will be spent in quarantine, a new prison policy to help stop the spread of COVID. They can possibly go out a little bit on um, the rec yard for a few minutes. But other than that, they're basically on lockdown. Laughlin was allowed to report to prison three weeks early after cutting a deal with the U.S. Attorney's Office and agreeing not to seek early release for COVID related reasons. Federal statistics show there are currently at least two positive cases among the 800 inmates in Lachlan's low security facility. Lachlan is serving her time in the same Northern California prison as Felicity Huffman did. They both have paid their fines and they both have been released. So now you may be asking, where are these individuals today? I'm going to insert a little clip here. And Huffman is an Emmy Award winner and an Oscar nominee, widely regarded for her acting chops. She quickly owned up to her role in that admission scandal. And now she's taking on a new one in a new ABC comedy. But will her fans welcome her back? 
This morning, Felicity Huffman on the brink of a comeback. Apparently, we're in competition with one other family. A generous donation will ensure our kids beat them out. Uh, how generous? 15000 The Desperate Housewives star now landing a new role on the small screen. Her first since the college admission scam. Truly contrite uh, and regretful, remorseful about what she did. She comes out maybe with a renewed sense of purpose. That's something that really works for reputation rehabilitation because it's real. Huffman now set to star in an ABC comedy as the unlikely owner of a minor league baseball team, a woman who learns to thrive after major setbacks. She's not the only one who could be eyeing a second act. Ah. Lori Loughlin opens up in her first TV appearance since the college admission scandal. Over a year and a half after completing her prison sentence, the actress breaks her silence. All good, you want me to leave it right there? Lori appears in Project Angel Foods Lead with Love Telethon, sharing details about her volunteer work. I've been working with Project Angel Food for a year and a half now, and it's been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. My favorite is doing the deliveries. I have the same delivery route once a week, and I see the same people, and it's so nice to make that connection with those people. And in a rare comment about life post-scandal, Lori reflects on one of her low points. They have welcomed me with such open arms at a time when I was feeling particularly down and broken. That's how I found a home here, and that's what I feel like they did for me. And that's why I'm so proud to be here and working with this organization, because they really do care. The Full House star's life is looking a little more normal. I could try. She's already made her acting return on When Hope Calls. And last month, Lori caught everyone off guard with a surprise red carpet appearance. <laughs> Lori was solo and all smiles while supporting Holly Robinson Pete's Holly Rod Foundation. I just wanted to come out and show my love and support for Holly, and also the foundation does amazing work. Meanwhile, it seems like one of Lori's biggest priorities right now is just being a mom. I'm like a proud mama. Which she's doing with fun cameos in Olivia's TikToks. As Olivia told us last year, Lori was an amazing cheerleader during her journey on Dancing with the Stars. She is watching every single time. She's texting all her friends to vote. She is, both of them, I mean my dad too, they watch every single Monday. They're so supportive. But that is the entire story of the college admission scandal. I hope you liked this episode of Celebrity Drama. And I will see you next week for an all new episode of The Pro Girl Experience.